So for today's service call, we are installing this teeny tiny little cellular antenna. You have to make some really good sized holes in the wall and it is cement. All right, first step is we're gonna to try to get through these seams because we're gonna run the cable inside. It's kind of a silicone latex. Now, I've already measured. I know that this line is right where the ceiling line is for the inside drop ceiling. So I'm gonna to try to go above it so that my cables come out above the ceiling. When I pulled my drill out, there was this insulation that came out and was wrapped, of course, all around my drill bit, so I had to get that unwrapped. These walls are really thick, so I'm trying to use my long drill bits, and I didn't encounter any cement at this stage, so that's a good sign. If I was to go in this seam, this is cement. All right, since I don't have any cement, I'm going to try my wood paddle bit. See if I can get myself a decent hole. I go in sideways. Maybe I can get past the cement. I am in as far as I can go. These walls are super thick. So I don't know that my drill bit went all the way inside. So I'm going to check with my fish stick. Okay, I'm not hitting any kind of obstructions. So that should get me inside. Now I can go in and look to see what I'm dealing with in the drop ceiling. All right, there's my fish stick from the outside. So we should be good to go to come in, and that's a nice big seam that we're dealing with right there. So we should be able to get those fat connectors in without any problems. All right, so we got this bracket. It's gonna go on the back. This is gonna attach the antenna. It's gonna go on the wall, antenna. It's gonna slide into place, and that antenna is gonna rest on this bracket. Okay, I'm using a hammer drill on this and a drill bit that's especially for Tapcons. It's sized for the Tapcons that I bought. All right, we're gonna go for some ear protection. And I changed my ladder to an extension size instead of A-frame to make sure I've got enough leverage. Now we got a bracket up. We'll attach the opposite side of the bracket to the antenna. To get these through the wall, I'm going to actually have to use pull string because I can't push them all the way through because the wall is so thick. And I got my fish sticks through with a pull string and so now I'm staggering each one of them so that I can pull through each one individually. I already got the first two in the wall and I'm going to go to the other side and actually pull them through.
So there's four leads that go to the internal digi, and so I ran them through the ceiling there, kind of coming down the same cable path as all the other cabling, and then I've got to individually connect each one of those four to the leads coming off the antenna. Each one of those leads is labeled A, B, C, D, which is specific to the digi. They had to be plugged into the correct port on the digi for it to get the right signal. Oh yeah, a 89, 90, up in 94, there go. What's our upload going to look like? Our upload is 17-ish, not bad for a first one. Let's see how we do on a second one. I'm bumping over 100 this time, not bad for cellular. And what's our upload going to be? About the same. Speed test was awesome. Oh, everything was awesome. Yeah, man, great. Thank you. Perfect. Do me a favor if you don't mind. What's that? If you can turn the digi um, clock, uh, counterclockwise, just like 90 degrees, so that it, it, it sits upright. Because what happens, you see how the power cable or the power supply yeah. is hanging down? We've had instances where the, it, like, people go, 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 to, you know, go around the network area, they'll hit it, and it falls right out. Oh, uh, okay. And don't realize it. So, and then we end up we'll switch, switching it. So let's do that today if we can. Just switch it. Just turn it like so. The word digi reads left to right. Yeah. All right, cool. I'll get that remounted yeah. and we'll go from there. Whoever did this previously tied up all the cables with zip ties. So I went through as I'm adding my cables and put in Velcro and then cut all the zip ties off and uh, you know did my cable management so it'd look nice and got rid of the zip ties so that it wouldn't pinch the cables. Just sent you a final picture. Okay. I'm going to take a look. Yeah, very nice. I like that. I appreciate the cable management too. That was great. We're golden, man. Thank you very much. Um, he does stay on this too, so I'm glad you're going to get it outside. That's a good dream. Absolutely. All right, cool, man. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you, man. All right. You have a good one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.